Alright, what's going on YouTube? My name is Slapper Green, coming at you like the back of the hand because we are here for something a little bit different. Something new. I actually finally get to play something new on the channel. Usually I'm like three years behind on everything that I'm recording because, well, mainly because I mainly play stuff on the PC right now and my computer, my old one at least, was not good enough to handle anything newer than like four years old. Uh, or at least not without running on very shitty frames. But I'm running this on my 3DS, originally meant to play something else when it came out on my 3DS, but I didn't get the capture card in time, ended up not doing that series. But we are here, we are fresh, with a brand new series, and fortunately because I watched five minutes of someone else's playthrough, I know there's an opening video here, so starting this right now, rather than waiting before we get into the main stuff. Uh, but if you guys are looking, f if you guys think you're enjoying the series at the end of the video, make sure you guys are leaving a like. And make sure you hit that subscribe button so you can keep up to date with all the videos that will be fun with this. Uh, because it's a new series, I'm hoping to do video each day for the first seven days up until next Friday. This video will be going up Saturday the day after because, unfortunately, I uh, had to work. wasn't able to pick up a decent amount of time. And so I'm recording this late Friday night rather than, like, early Friday. Which is what I would have preferred. Um, so, also, one more thing about this game. I'm going to be running a Nuzlocke variant, for those of you who don't know what that is, Nuzlocke is basically a challenge mode trainers can impose on themselves to make games a little bit more difficult. Uh, going to go over the rules very kind of quickly, kind of shortly, but I'll also make sure that they are down in the description below so that if this is not your... So if this is your first time seeing a Nuzlocke, you have a uh, ready guide to go back to uh, if you forget any of the rules. But basically the variant that I'm going to run, I'm going to run... I don't know if anybody's done this before. I'm think I'm basically making this up as a go, um, but I'm going to try and run a new dex variant. Basic rules of a Nuzlocke are that you have to catch the first Pokemon every route that you encounter, you have to nickname every Pokemon that you catch, and if any Pokemon faints in battle, it is dead. You can't revive it, you can't heal the Pokemon Center, it has to either get released or go into a box where it will stay until the end of the playthrough. Um, the only variant to that, those are the basic main rules I'm going to be going with. Um, I'm also going to have static Pokemon uh, count as separate encounters, so stuff like legendary encounters will be static. So even if I've already encountered something in that route, I'll still be able to try and catch that. Um, but the other variant I want to run, because this is a new game, because there's a lot of new Pokemon, it's a new, new generation, a lot of new Pokemon in it, I want to run a new dex variant. Basically what I mean by that is that, let's say in the first route we run into like a Pikachu first old, plain as day, it's been here since Gen 1. Uh, been here since I was originally playing these games. Uh, it's one of the reasons why I like playing Pokemon every once in a while, especially on the channel. First game I ever played was Pokemon Red, so love hopping back into this very nice nostalgic feel for me, even when it's with new games. Um, so, first route, first encounter is like a Pikachu. Okay, we catch that. However, what I mean by new dex variant is that if, like, let's say our next encounter was a new Pokemon, a uh, Rockruff or something like that, which is a new Pokemon in this region, that would count as a new dex encounter, and we would be allowed to catch that as well. Uh, the purpose of that is to try and make sure that we're able to catch and incorporate uh, new Pokemon for this gen into our playthrough and go through a lot of that. I know it's a long intro today, but hopefully next video will run a lot, lot quicker. I plan on recording a couple today. Uh, shells behind me look a little bit better than usual if you've been watching the stream, mainly because moving soon, so a lot of packing. So I'm trying to record a whole bunch of videos over this weekend so that I have a lot of backlog so that even if the series is still going, as we're getting ready to move, I'll still have videos for you guys. So, um, but yeah. And another kind of tie-in rule to the new decks rule that I'm going to incorporate is in the party, I'm going to try and run a 2 to 1 system, new gen Pokemon versus older generation Pokemon, so like, minimum amount of Pokemon that I can have in the party to have an older generation Pokemon would be 3, because I'd have to have 2 new Pokemon, and then whatever the third one I'd want to add in. That's kind of a variation I want to run as well. It might end up limiting us on our party size a little bit, but that's something I want to do again. Just trying to incorporate new Pokemon into uh, the playthrough. And I know there's a lot of glare on my glasses right now, but we're going to try and go through it, and we're going to start now. Holy crap, five minutes to Let's go! 
You have a message from the Alola region's own Professor Kikui. Kikui. Hang on now. Give me just a second. Hey there. Good afternoon. So the day has finally come that you're moving to Alola. Alola is a region made up of several islands. That could be the reason the region is chock full of nothing but rare Pokemon. Yeah! It's gotta be it. And there's no surge of cool Pokemon out here in Alola either. Such mysterious creatures. You find them all over. In the grass, in the caves, in the sky, and the sea. Here in Alola, we love our Pokemon, and we depend on them heaps, too. Some of us even battle with them, if we call ourselves Pokemon traders. So Rockruff, can you wait until I'm done talking before we play? Come on. Alright. I gotta ask you a couple of questions about yourself so I can make an introduction for you for everybody. So starting with it, which photo would I, should I use for your trainer passport? I hit A. Come on. Okay. Uh... Well, you guys can see me right now, so you kind of know which one fits me best. That one looks most like me. This and this, though. Right then, I'll let you spell your name, too. Uh, just gonna go with the gamer tag. Just gonna go with nice and slap. So you go by slap. Yes, I do. Or at least when I'm here. With you guys. Hey! 10 4, everybody. I'll let everybody here know you're on your way. That's a name that hits you like a thunderbolt out of the sky. Ooh. Can't wait to see you here in person then, cousin. Ooh. Hey, nice computer monitor. Still not as nice as the one I'm looking at right now. Slap, come help with these boxes. That's gonna be our mother calling us. Hello, Institute. Oh, Frank, I forget what this place was called, too. I know it's something Institute. I don't remember it from the trailers very well. Hello. Nice and runcy. Oh, there's something in there. Oh, the Institute's giving chase. This is what I mean. Moving stuff around, sorry. I'm kind of editing in mid video, but. That's one way to make a getaway. And so we start the sun! Yes! Three months later. Holy Island. Now for those who haven't been paying attention to the trailers, this region is basically made up of a couple of islands, and uh, we're basically just going to see what we can find. <laughs> Obviously there's going to be a lot more to that, but... Uh, We'll see what we get up to here. As our mother in this game looks out at the beautiful sky in the distance. Ah, can't you just feel that warmth? The first day spent under a Lola's sun. It's so warm and bright here. That's enough of that. Time to unpack all these. Oh. Get slapped for me, would you? Oh, I'm going to be terrible at doing voices. But at the same time, I probably the easiest way to get through screens and stuff. The only thing about playing a game that doesn't have any actual in-game voice characters. Either I gotta leave it running for you guys to read it yourselves, or I gotta read it for her. And, uh, well, you guys got, might get a little bit sick of that if it's just the same old voice of mine all over and over and over and over and over. 
as we sleep in bed with our clothes on. We're not even changing. Hello? Oh. We're just taking a nap on top of the covers. Oh. Did I have to move the stick there before it actually moved me? Picture rules. Even on a tiny globe like this one, Kanto and Alola seem awfully far apart. Hello? Anything in here? These moving boxes are full of your belongings. So, new game, so I'm gonna be doing a lot of exploring. Ditto Pillow and Polka Toy are both covered in Meow's claw marks. I bet they are. Now I'm gonna try and not look down as much as possible because I've got the game stuff on the screen in front of me, but my 3DS is down here. You were out like a light, weren't you? You gotta be full of energy by now. So Slap, are you pumped to meet some Alolan Pokemon? Uh, of course. We're living in the Alolan region now, these beautiful islands everyone wants to visit. I'm sure the Pokemon living in a place like this must be friendly, right? Hey, doorbell. Was that the doorbell? It's gotta be Professor Kikui. Why don't you let him in? Holy crap, long dialogue. Shouldn't have turned on the TV. Hello? Oh wow, we actually have to head A to open doors. That's new. Seems like our mother's room. Hey, they actually gave her own room in this game. I thought we were answering the door, but okay, just let yourself in. Like at this point, I've already passed the couple of minutes that I watched this someone else's video just to kind of get a feel for the look. Hey there, Slap! The name's Kukui. Good to meet you, cousin. You gotta be tired after that long trip all the way out here to Alola. Feeling any jet lag? You're a long way from Kano out here in Alola. It's still daytime out here, yeah! Ah, Professor Kukui. Yes, we just arrived yesterday. Okay, why are you calling my mom up? That seems kind of weird. Either. I just let myself in and call me Kukui, wouldn't you? Welcome to Alola. All the hand gestures from him. Who's just saying it like this? Of course, I still remember seeing you battle the Inigo League leaders back in Kanto all those years ago. Yeah. So, cross confirm. We've been in love with the lone Pokemon ever since, so I finally decided to come here myself. I was supposed to be visiting there to research Kanto Pokemon lose it all. I thought I knew a thing or two about battling, but those Kanto gym leaders proved me wrong. Hey now, Slap. Let's get a move on to the next town over. Time for you to meet the island Kahuna and get yourself a Pokemon. Who is the Kahuna? Sure, sure. The Kahunas are crazy strong Pokemon trainers here in Olulu. They're unbeatable for folks like me and you. And the Kahuna who lives in Iki Town is always happy to give any kid who wants to have an adventure their first Pokemon. I simply get my boy a Pokemon, and those Kahunas really are worth meeting. I'm assuming you're gonna let me go. Maybe. Oh, I bet you've got. Do I? I don't remember from the trailer whether or not this character has a hat. I'm assuming I'm supposed to get that out of this box. Predictability for the win. Oh, I like the design of the bag. The music's definitely very nice and upbeat and happy, too. Okay, stop hitting on my mom. Get the hell out of my house! Let's go to the next town over. Okay? Just... Leave her alone. I'll be sure to have everything cleaned up and put away by the time you come back with your new Pokemon. Oh, that's a styling hat. The lingo is going to kill me. More than anything, the lingo is going to be what kills me. Especially for Kukui. You're on there. She's sure looking forward to you getting your first Pokemon, yeah? So let's go to Iki Town. I hope I'm pronouncing that right. Cover you to get a real nice Pokemon from the Island Kahuna. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah! 
Oh yeah! Oh yeah! I don't know what's wrong with him. <laughs> uh, that's like all I can think of when I read his dialogue. Just how out there and overly energetic that guy is. <laughs> Holy crap. Oof, moving camera. Uh, not sure how much I like that. I don't remember the camera moving this much last game. Ooh, I actually went the right direction first. Nice. Now this is more like Welcome to Paradise, because it's the Alola region. Folks here in Alola get along by living together with Pokemon and working together, too. After all, you can go anywhere, as long as you got Pokemon helping you out here. That's why we gotta get you to the Kahuna. First, we're off to Icky Town. Come on, it's not far if we cut up here. Hey, you, you look like you're having a good time strolling around Alola. You made me want to dash around too, I'm gonna go even faster than you. Okay, I already know how to run in this game. Oh, can't go down there yet, but I heard a Pokemon. Maybe some grass down there? The power of science is amazing! It's so impressive when you can trade Pokemon or battle with people around you. Oh. Holy crap. Hey, there he is. So slap! You're living a little already, yeah? Yeah. That's very nice. Definitely a change up from uh, anything we've seen yet. That's what I like to hear. The more you level, the happier I'll be. Oh yeah, look there. Looks like an excited little cheer just come to us. You gotta recommend another move for me sometime, please. Why? You already know which moves you want to use, yeah? Come find me next time if I want there's a new move, then I'll value. Feels like a nice guy. I see an item in the distance. See that? If you had a Pokemon with you, you could dive into the tall grass here. Yeah, to try to catch some wild Pokemon to add to your team. That's kind of the plan eventually. If we can just keep moving along, like, forward, then sure go up against one another in battle with the Pokemon they love. I see another item in the distance. That now is Holy Young Goose. How's it? You're the new kid that just flew in. Let's have a Pokemon battle sometime. Okay. You'll probably see me soon. How many Pokemon is the only way to communicate with other people? See? Now let's get moving. Icky Town is right over there. Next. Next! I thought that wasn't visible on screen for the last, like, half an hour. And we're here! This right here is Icky Town. I hope I'm pronouncing that right. That sounds so... Not right. Ta this town is where folks come to worship the Pokemon that watches over Mele Mele Island. Tapu Koko keeps us all safe and happy, see? Huh? What's going on here? We were supposed to meet everybody right here, yeah? Hmm. Maybe they're all back there on the hollow trail. That's where the ruins of our guardian deity, Tapu Koko, are. Yeah. Slap, so, do me a solid and go find the island Kahuna. I'll be around here to make sure we don't miss each other. The island Kahuna, you can't... If I'm new to the region, how the hell am I supposed to know what a Kahuna looks like? Let alone how not to miss one. Like, really? You don't even have a picture or something you can show me? Oh, look for this big guy? But I, I think uh, I already recognize him. Know who it'll be from the trailer, so... There's someone uh, we haven't seen since, oh, about five minutes ago. Really? You want to go up to the ruins? I don't know what you hope to find there. I kind of switched that voice mid-dialogue, but kind of started too generic at first. What mysterious creatures? Pull one something right out of the grass. Da -da 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 -da. Yeah, I know. Where, oh, where is our little island Kahuna? Who, I'm pretty sure is anything but little, but... Anyways. Kahuna Hall Kahuna Hala is the strongest Pokemon trainer in all of Mele Mele. But I guess he must be off helping someone train right now. I don't see him anywhere. So it is like this just like no one around the window, yeah? Okay, well we just saw someone run off here, so I'm assuming we're supposed to go this way. Mahalo Trail.
currently hearing like birds and Pokemon cries in the distance. Which is a nice touch because you usually don't hear them this frequently. You can't come out. We'll get in trouble if anyone sees you. So obviously whatever's in that bag is seemingly pretty important. Let's chase after her. Maybe we'll catch a glimpse. <laughs> or another glimpse. To count the one we saw in the cutscene. You're oddly runny all of a sudden. Hey, there we go. Uh oh. Really? You're out of the bag for three seconds and you're already running scared? And over here, not seeing anything. Alright, let's help you out. Are you gonna turn around and see me or not? Hello? Ah. What's wrong? Help! Save Nebby! Nebby? Okay, that's not... Uh, well, it does kind of look like a mini nebula. I guess. Maybe? Is that what you're going with? The spirits are attacking you, but I'm too afraid to go out there. My legs feel like they might give out. Well, sorry, I don't have a Pokemon. So, I can't help you. I can't battle them. Oh! Okay, don't run. Key here, don't run. Like, rickety bridge of death? Much? Uh, that might be trouble. Falling is generally not good. your power again, didn't you? Oh, Nebby. You know what happened last time you used it? You couldn't move for ages after that. Don't want to see you like that again. No, I shouldn't say that. I'm sorry. I knew you were trying to save me that time. I couldn't even help you in return. Okay, that looks like walking with no legs. What is that? Good kill. I have no A. You gonna show me? A sparkling stone. It feels almost warm somehow. Please forgive me. I'm so grateful to you for helping us out of that dangerous spot. So who are you? If you mind me asking? I think this stone must belong to you. Okay. I'll take free shit. You obtained the sparkling stone. Open up the key item's pocket. Please, don't tell anyone about this. About seeing Nebby. It's a secret, okay? Come on, into the bag. Am I actually going to see it jump in or no? It's just going to cut. That's that's a little bit too graphical for us. That though, we'll just cut scene it away. Um, I'm worried we might get attacked again by some wild Pokemon or or something. I know it's just too much to ask, but do you think you can see us back to town? Ah, well, why not? Considering my way ahead is kind of destroyed now. Okay. I didn't know walking down the trail was going through a door. Now can we meet the Kahuna? Well, there's Kukui. Hey, Slap! Looks like you missed the Kahuna, yeah? But you found my assistant. Oh, yeah. Looks like you already met, but just in case, this is my assistant. Oh, um, yes. You can call me Lily. And Lily, this here is Slap. You just moved here to Alola. Take good care of him. So you're also one of the professor's acquaintances? It's nice to meet you. She's very big on head bowing, apparently. The Kuna is back. Kuna Hala has returned. Our guardian's chosen one is back. Only one of the strongest Pokemon is Alolia. Okay. 
Yeah, it's definitely who I thought it was. Because this is the guy that they showed in one of the trailers handing out Pokemon, so. Have I missed something? Nah, but where'd you go off to, Kuna? I thought we were meeting here. I am the Kuna of this island, after all. Whenever there is a problem on the island, it is my duty to resolve it. Sorry, Lily. What were you saying before? For some reason, I thought I saw Tapu Koko flying about. Um, yes, Kuna Maybe he was being attacked by Spiro on the plank bridge when this boy held to get away. But the bridge collapsed and I thought both of them might follow the bottom of the ravine. And that was when the island's garden deity swooped in to save them. Deity. Nice word. Whew. That's something you don't hear every day. Oh! Although it's said to protect us, our Tapu Koko is a rather fickle creature. Yet our guardian was moved to save you. Kukui, my boy! I think we have cause to celebrate! Seems I like shouldn't trust this brave and kind young boy with a Pokemon of his own. We'll make a fine trainer out of him yet. I'm glad to meet you, child. I'm Hala, the Kahuna of Melemere Island. Welcome to Alola. Young Kukui has told me of your coming. I'm glad we had the chance to meet today. And half my lines sound like I'm paused halfway through. Come, my Pokemon. Let's have a look at you. Hello. First is the grass type Pokemon Rallet. Cool. Next is the fire type Pokemon Litten. And last but not least, the water type Poplo. Which Pokemon will you choose as your partner? Um. I've been thinking about this quite a bit, quite a bit, quite a bit, um, in preparation for this, and I think, I think I'm going to go, the one that interests me the most right now is probably Rowlet, because normally, uh, there's not a whole lot of access to eventual ghost types this early in the game, and Rowlet's evolved forms end up being part ghost as well, so, I think I'm going to go with Rowlet, especially since because they're using Pokemon Ride to basically take out the necessity of having HMs and stuff around, it's no longer as big a deal if we don't have like a water type, so definitely no need to like just safe bet it on that. Will you choose the grass type for Rallet? Yes I will. Only when you have both chosen each other can you truly call each other partners. This is new, and very different. Hello? So let's see if little Rowlet there also decides to choose you! Come on, boy! You can do it! You can do it! <laughs> I'm sorry, I can't! Rowlet has its gaze fixed on you. Cool? Cool? Hey, everybody's smiling. You lifted Rallet gently in your arms. Cuckoo. Hey, nice. Grass type Pokemon Rallet looks a bit tickled. Whatever that's supposed to mean. Ha! So little Rallet was ex has accepted you as well, Slap. Having accepted one another, you'll surely be friends for life. Yes, because that's how these things work. Didn't you know that? Nickname for a Rowlet. Uh, I think what I'm going to go for here... Uh, obviously a play off of being an owl. But I also recently uh, relaunched Neville... Uh, Neville's. Netflix's first two seasons of Daredevil and certain someone Owsley let's go Owsley even a male too which works perfectly Owsley has been added to your party nice so we have our first Pokemon now 
Now we can battle, now we can catch. And we missed Ella. Oh! Oh! When did you get out again? I know that Kahuna Hala and the Professor will keep you safe from any harm, but you should still stay in the bag and out of sight. It's safer that way. I think you chose a wonderful Pokemon. Please take good, very good care of it. That's it! Slap! Now that you've got a Pokemon, you're a real Pokemon trainer. Yeah! And here's a lovely gift for me to help make it special. Pokedex? Awesome! You've obtained a Pokedex. Pokedex is a real high-tech kind of tool that can automatically record facts about any Pokemon that you meet. Your new partner, Violet, is already registered. So check it out. And... And this is a trainer passport that I put together for you. Beautiful. Now why don't you introduce your new friend to your mom? Sounds like a plan as good as any. If you two work in harmony with each other, you can go anywhere together. Well, that's... Okay. As we're basically going to get probably pretty basic tasks at that point. So let's just skip on that. Go back to a little bit of searching around. I don't really see anything all that big here. Oh, berries. Can I not? Oh, I can't take any of the berries. Side face. Hello, side door? Oh. You know the festival here in Iki Town? Some years, there's no, there are no 11 year old kids setting out to hold a sacred battle for us. Those years held against to take part and we dedicate a bout of sacred alone sumo to the curry. Ah. Mm. the trash. What do you guys say? Anything important? Uh, doesn't seem like it. And... Too much block for you. Can't see what's going on back there. And what's going on in room number two? Hello. Lola, I love to see kids in Pokemon full of energy. That's it. That's all you had for me. That's really all you had for me. You had me read for nothing there, basically. Come on. Please give me something. Just joking. Alright, let's move on, move on, move on. But, uh... All that being said, I think that's going to do it here for today's episode. Uh, just because... Just want to get a little bit of stuff out of the way. We're already three minutes deep into this episode, and I wanted to keep this episode because it's the first episode of a new series of a new game, roughly around 30 minutes. So let's cut it here. Hope if you guys did enjoy today's video, if you guys are looking forward to the rest of this adventure, make sure you guys are hitting that like button and hitting that subscribe button so you can keep up to date with everything going on in the channel. But uh, I'm gonna be out here. You guys know me on YouTube, Slap Every Game. Be sure to check out my social media and stuff down in the description down below, and I will see you guys hopefully in the next video. But for now, I'm out.